Hey starlings! So in this video I'm just going to jump right to the chase as you can already tell in the title that I am now making a video on all the places I have visited. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this. Number one is Vegas. I went to Vegas in 2017 um, around my Thanksgiving break. It was my first time ever that I got to go out west and I was not disappointed, let me tell you. Well, I mean, I would have loved to stop by LA once we got there and you know, kill two birds with one stone, but eh, what can you do? We stayed at the MGM Grand Hotel and when people say Vegas is gaudy and over the top, they were not exaggerating. I also just loved how everything was wheelchair accessible, almost to a point where it was a little much. I even saw a Cirque du Soleil show titled O oh, and it was fantastic. The girls' vocals were heavenly. I visited all the nearby hotels and my second favorite besides the MGM that I stayed at would easily be the Bellagio. Uh, also, on the last night, I got to see David Copperfield and for a girl addicted to magic and illusions, it was a dream come true. There was a mall and I'll show you some parts and I just felt so luxe being there. Now that I became more comfortable being YouTube, sharing my life, I really hate the past me because I didn't film everything I could have. The aquarium there was amazing. Being a marine biology nut, <laughs> I was so satisfied to say the least. However, my weak Ohio and lungs got the best of me. Like one day in, I just couldn't adjust to such dry air. And that's also one of the reasons why I didn't film as much because I was coughing every couple minutes and it sucked. Even to this day, I'm pretty salty about it. Number two, Arizona. While out west, we didn't just stop in Nevada. We also hit the Grand Canyon. You have no idea how happy this made me because when I was a kid, my dad, Pops, took my older sisters over spring break back when I was really, really little to the Grand Canyon and I didn't get to go and it made me so sad that I didn't get to. So going out there was kind of a dream come true. The helicopter ride was hosted by, I believe the name was Sunset something. Anyway, they were all fantastic there and I couldn't take my wheelchair with me but they already had a temporary one out there on the plateau for when I arrived. And having dinner on a plateau is something you just kind of have to live through your own eyes. I can't verbally explain just how epic it felt. And out there on the reserve you can drink champagne at 15, the guide had told me, and I was well over 15, so that was fun. And later that night I had also found out that my favorite actress, Lana Priya, was down in the Canyon Valleys when I was there at the same time, but a couple miles away with her family. So that made my heart happy. Number three, Tennessee. Tennessee I don't remember as vividly as say other places I visited because I went there when I was a really little kid. Pops and his family originated from Tennessee in Ray County. So that's the reason we went down to visit because we also own a farm down there. But I do remember some fun little moments. The family also owns a creek down there where all the locals actually get their water from. And we own that creek and we would swim in the creek on like some of like the really, really hot days and i remember vividly <laughs> i was sitting on a big rock right in the middle while my sister and nephews swam towards the uh, calmer ends of the water and i was wearing a blue dress with sunflowers on it one of my favorite activities i remember doing with my dad in tennessee was taking pennies laying them on the railroad tracks right when the train was going to roll over them and flatten out the penny till they were unrecognizable. And sometimes if you were lucky, the older the penny, the more colors would pull out from the penny once you flattened and smoothed it out. There was also this really old water tower that survived like, I don't know, like a bajillion different fires and other hazards and whatever. But I didn't get to go up it because you have to walk and it's only stairs. There's no elevator for a half burnt out water tower. So my mom and I would just sit in the Jaguar while the rest of my family went up the water tower. And every step they took, the tower would physically sway back and forth. And my mother and I would just chant that, You're gonna die, you're gonna die. We are such a loving family. Number four, Myrtle Beach. Now I'm not a fan of beaches. Only because my wheelchair thinks that all sand is quicksand, so I mean, I have to be carried and I don't want to be carried when I'm 18 by my family just so I can get to the ocean, even though I love it so much. <laughs> my grandparents had lived down in, like, right across 
the street from Myrtle Beach for years. So I got to go down there when I was about five years old and a couple times before then, but I remember five years old the most. The trip I went on when I was five is the most memorable despite the time my mother lost her gold ankle bracelet in the lazy river that my mom is surprised that I even remember and I'm shocked that I remember it too. It's such an insignificant memory, but I don't know. But I got sick while I was down there. I don't remember what it was. I don't know if it was like a stomach thing. All I remember is my aunt kept giving me like, was it cranberry juice or like a grape flavored drink to try and calm my stomach, but eventually it just, it just didn't work and they had to admit me to the ER. This was like, <laughs> Coincidentally, like right when like a little tiny tropical storm decided to hit nearby. I don't know if you guys remember it. It's just called Hurricane uh, Katrina. Uh, yeah, they evacu evacuated all of Myrtle Beach except for me. They would not let me leave since I was admitted into the hospital already. This day, I remember sea creatures swimming into my room in like the inch of water on the floor. When they did let me leave, the cute little tourist town had become a ghost town and the sounds of generators and machines pumping out the water still haunts me to this day, little five-year-old me inside. <laughs> Whew, that was fun. Top quality trip. 10 out of 10 would do again. Florida. I have been to Florida more times than I can count, let alone remember. Over the years, I've been there for mainly Disney and Universal Studios. And I can easily tell you that Universal Studios is far better than Disney, in my own personal opinion. There's just so much more to do there. And being a film student and a huge film lover slash junkie, I like how Universal Studios submerges you way more into the movies that you love because they're Universal Studios. I mean, duh. And I do hope to visit Universal Studios one more time before I have to officially start adulting. Pennsylvania. So when my mom and Kent kind of like became like a thing, um, I didn't really expect us to travel to where he lived ever. I just kind of expected him to just haul everything and just come to our little town in Ohio and just kind of like totally forget his life in Pennsylvania. That did not happen, let me tell you. But I love Philadelphia. The small parts I have been able to see the times I went there. Coming from Ohio where there's like Cornfield, 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 town. Cornfield, 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 a city. And then a barn, barn, field, field, field. Anything is a step up from there. Where he lived was full of these cool, like historical looking buildings, very unique architectures, a bunch of stores, some stores that I don't have where I live. And the beautiful, second to largest mall in America, Cana Pressure Mall. It literally took us six hours to get from the front of that mall to the end of that mall. And that's not even counting the times where we went into stores and actually looked around. I love it. 30 out of 10 would go again. New Jersey. And oh my gosh, the fun didn't stop there. So in 2017, my friend, Mom, Kent, and I decided to stop at Philadelphia for one night because the next day we were going to New Jersey. And this was for a Once Upon a Time convention that they were holding in Whippany, New Jersey, and I was so excited. Low-key, the best vacation I've had in my 18 years of life. I had the silver package and a frantic heart all in one. Got to meet Jennifer Morrison, Colin O'Donoghue, Rebecca Mayer, and of course, Lana Maria owns my life, Priya. Before I did meet her, I made a bunch of friends with the volunteers who worked there and a bunch of other fans that were there as well. One of the volunteers I got to meet, her name was Annette, and she was such a sweetheart, and I love her corgi, Foxy. She even got to let me speak to some of the actors in between panels behind the scenes. I kind of weren't really allowed to, but I will forever be grateful for that too. Watch Annette. Hi! I love corgis. There was also a Pomeranian there that I named Spoofy. And on the second day, something quite interesting happened. Roll it. So we were sitting here eating our chicken. This is some good ass chicken though, like, let me tell you. And freaking Colin O'Donoghue walks past, and I noticed, Kelsey didn't notice, until somebody, like a few people down, screams, I love you, Colin! And then she's like, oh shit, that's Colin O'Donoghue. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm so observant. Let me talk more about the convention, meeting Lana, like how my experience went. Just comment down below just to let me know and I'll be sure to make a video on that with a bunch of other footage that I took while I was there. But it was the best weekend of my life. Cancun. This one I saved for last because I haven't been there yet. I'll be visiting Cancun in January with Kent, my mom, and Ruth and I will be vlogging every single day I'm there for the two weeks I am. I'm super excited, but I'm also kind of sad because they're also going to Aruba uh, in November and I don't get to go because I won't have my passport by then. And getting a passport has been a trip. Let me tell you, that's a whole video in itself. But that is all I have for you guys today. Comment down below where you have been or places you would like to visit. My top places would be California, New York City, and Bora Bora, definitely. In a specific order, I just love those places. But all of my social media links are down in the description box below. Be sure to check them out and come say hi. I love talking to each and every one of you. Be sure to also comment down below what kind of video you would like to see next. That does help me out a lot, just as much as you guys clicking that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, and that little bell will notify you sometimes every time I upload a video. And with that all being said, my dears, I shall see all you lovely starlings later. Bye-bye.